I'm Jen Piacenti with Fantasy Alarm, and I'm back with some deep cuts for your week 13. Week 12 was quite a week, but let's review one particular series of events that has a ton of rest of season implications for your fantasy squads. Okay, here goes. So, first the Texans release Kenny Stills. Okay, cool. They have plenty of depth. Then the Texans put Randall Cobb on IR. Okay, getting crunched, but they have Kiki Kuti, who can be the number three. And then Will Fuller gets suspended for the rest of the season. It's brutal, folks. So now it seems Deshaun Watson's pass catching options are Kuti, he's a must add if he's still available, by the way, and the two tight ends. This is an offense that throws. We haven't seen either Johnson be particularly productive, even with all the volume of the run game, as the Houston Texans have produced the second least rushing yards per game so far this season. Priority number one here is going to be Jordan Akins, who's considered the pass-catching tight end. In week 11, he caught five of eight passes for 83 yards, and I expect he's going to get similar or maybe even more volume going forward. Now, Darren Fells is also an option in super deep leagues, as his six foot seven wingspan makes him a perfect red zone target. Fells has also shown flashes of upside this year when between weeks five and six, with no Akins on the field, he had two touchdowns and 142 yards. Do you have Tom Brady on by this week? Or maybe even Teddy Bridgewater? Well, Ryan Fitzpatrick has a juicy matchup this week versus Cincinnati, assuming Tua doesn't play, and it looks like he won't. Fitz threw for 257 yards and two touchdowns versus the Jets last week, and Cincinnati has allowed an average of 259 passing yards per game in 2020. So Fitz could make some waiver wire magic for you again this weekend. How about wide receiver Gabriel Davis? John Brown officially on the IR. All season long when Brown has been out, Davis has seen basically all his snaps. Last week, Davis played 60 of the 61 total snaps for Buffalo for 79 yards and a trick play touchdown reception on a pass from Cole Beasley. Both Cole Beasley and Gabriel Davis in that order are good deep ads this week. And finally, Devontae Booker for the Las Vegas Raiders. Josh Jacobs sprained his ankle last Sunday and it's worth taking a chance on Booker in case Jacobs is out or even limited this week. We've seen Booker be effective when given opportunity. Over the two week span of weeks nine and 10, Booker had three touchdowns and 149 yards. Even if Jacobs does suit up this Sunday, it's a good idea to have his handcuff as you roll forward into the fantasy playoffs, whether you are the Jacobs owner or not. Thank <laughs> you.